Here at the Warrior Workshop, we're just sitting around. Hey guys, it's Turner from the Warrior Wood Shop, and today we're making a tailgate bench. We had a Chevy tailgate from a truck bed trailer we had, and I've always wanted to make a tailgate bench, so I tried it out, and I really enjoyed it. All right, so right now the tailgate is getting painted, so we're gonna work on the bench, and specifically right now, just the frame of the bench. So we got all our one by fours cut down to size. We used a stop block, so these, the long ones are 68, and these are 18 and a half. We use a stop block for each one, so that way they were all the same. Now we're going to pocket holes and put these together. Drill two pocket holes in each end of each cross member. The long boards don't need any. Now that we have all our holes drilled, our next step is to lay out on the longer rails where our cross members are gonna go. What we're first gonna do is find the center of the board and we're gonna find the center of each half. Another option if you don't want hidden fasteners is just to screw from the outside. All right, we're back from cutting and planing our post. I also cut some temporary spacers to put the bench at the right height, and we're gonna dry fit our the bench. Next, we're gonna cut some dados to have extra support for the back side of the armrest. Alright, right now I'm double checking to make sure I make a right and a left because I picked sides that look nicer and that I wanted to stick out. It's important to double check your layout to prevent making two of the same sides because two rights don't make a left. Since the dry fit was a success, it's now time to attach the legs to the seat frame. Make sure everything is square. And it's a good idea to pre-drill to avoid splitting any of the material. We made a template from scrap material for the arms and then transferred that measurement to the actual arm pieces. Next, we cut out the notch with the bandsaw to fit around the post. The advantage to doing the dado not only gives strength, but it hides any imperfections in your bandsaw cut. Now we can determine the armrest length, round off the corners to, to ease the edges, and then fine tune them with the belt sander. Now using 1x6 cedar, we install the seat boards. Again, being sure to pre-drill and even countersink to prevent splitting and the countersink
Finally, we applied several coats of exterior water-based polyurethane to give it that warm, rich look and keep it protected from the weather. Since this was a Christmas gift, Santa was kind of putting the time crunch on us. And somehow we managed to forget to hit the record button when we were attaching the tailgate to the actual frame of the bench. What we did was use two long one by threes and pocket screw them into the frame or the post on each end. And then we used hex metal lags in appropriate places on the tailgate where it was structurally sound and use self-tapping hex metal lags to attach the bench to those one by threes. Well, that's about wraps it up on this episode of the Warrior Woodshop. At first, I thought the black tailgate, but with this cedar wood, I think it looks excellent, the color combination. The little caps that we put on the end definitely finish everything off. Since you did most of the work on this project, what was your uh, favorite part, or excuse me, the what was the hardest part that you'd give advice to somebody out there in YouTube land? Uh, the hardest part was getting the cedar not to split, but with the adequate amount of pre-drilling countersinking, it made it easier, but still not, still didn't prevent it all. A lot of work, was it worth it? Yeah, it turned, the final product was for sure worth it. What was your favorite part of the whole project then? My favorite part was actually restoring the tailgate. Seriously, it's the Warrior Woodshop, and he's still got a little bit of gearhead in him. <laughs>